I was ch sharing the chairing the Fonds Sud for two years, and I thought it was the end of uh, my involvement in it. But uh, I was uh, asked to go on with the with the new fund, which is called Edo Cinema du Monde, which is going to be different. Uh, it it's not. Uh, we used to have 100 countries, mainly to what they call. Uh, Cinema du Sud, Southern Cinematographies, but uh, it has nothing to do with geography. It mainly, uh, it, it was mainly about countries where cinema is not really an industry, except for some countries like India, China, or Iran, or Latin America. So it, it was already big. It started with only Africa. When it started in 19, I think it started in 1982. Uh, and it was uh, only, mainly for Africa and uh, the Middle East and, Mag and the Maghreb. And then it, it extended to more countries. And uh, the, the National Center of Cinematography and the Institut Francais. And the, the National Center of Cinematography, we have the Ministry of Culture decided to change it, to extend it, to open it up to the world in order to de-ghettoize, de I don't know if you say this word, I mean, not, not to, to reign as a ghetto, so um, to open it up to the to, to filmmakers and producers from all over the world, uh, which is, I think, a good idea, but uh, the concern of, of some filmmakers mainly, and producers from Europe mainly, from France, it was that how could filmmakers from countries where, where cinema is not really an industry, where it is very difficult to make films for the reasons we all know. How will they compete with uh, filmmakers from Europe? Two commissions, one for first and second time filmmaker, and the other commission is for third film onwards. The members of the commission will be a mixture from the MENA countries, from Africa, from Europe, from, and that's a good emulation to, to understand uh, what the culture of each uh, script is. Of course, quality and uh, treatment, the treatment of every script, I mean, I mean, if it's not there, it's not there. But at least, there will be no misunderstanding, cultural misunderstanding. There will be no. Uh, uh, it, that what I think it will be uh, uh, accessible if we have people who who can uh, uh, understand uh, what the filmmaker wants to say. It will be it will be it will be easy to have access to the public, but of course that's my opinion. Uh, the, the intrinsic quality of the script has nothing to do with culture. Uh, the treatment has nothing to do with culture. The subject has to do with culture. We may not we, we may misunderstand uh, culturally something because we are not from that culture, mm -hmm. but. We, if you are a professional, you can see whether it, it responds to the, to, the, to the requirements of a good script or not. There will be more money, of course. So far, the fund, the Fonds Sud, had you know, dealt with two million, I think two million and two hundred uh, euros. Now it's six, which is good. Uh, I think there is a, cert, a sort of a freshness and a way to look at the world, and a vision of the world which is very, very interesting from the MENA countries and Africa. Africa is another problem, but uh, if, if you, you are asking me about uh, the Mediterranean, yes, they can have, uh, if, they, if they are talented, if there is a vision in the script, they can, I'm, I'm not worried about, uh, about them.